We're here at the Goodwill. What'd you find? Some harmonicas. I can a whole, play in tune. A whole bag of harmonicas. How many is in there? A bunch of them. It's oh. 15 bucks. And it's not a sale color, so but... Five, six. There's at least a dozen in there, I think. I don't know if it matters, the so condition. I don't know if those were used, but they go for about $20 with free shipping. So you might be able to do like, say, $12.99 with shipping. And one sale will pay for the whole bag. It's about $1.25 a piece. Oh, what are these? Little, you know, little lighthouses. I wish there were some Christopher Radcos. Santa. Pencils. If moms and dads out there, this is a good way to buy school supplies. Yeah. Good old M. Wait, are those Dollar Tree brushes though? Are they? They might be. They might not be good brushes. Man. What's in here? Oh, I love these bags. What am I looking at? Oh, all the beads. They're heavy. Oh, it looks like some wooden beads, yeah. And some regular ones. $14.99. Is it? Yeah. I think so. Those are some weird looking stamps. Those are kid stamps, the foam oh, ones. Okay. And I mean, you can use them as an adult, of course, but they usually would use them with no, paint. Uh, it's got age limit. <laughs> it's got an age limit. <laughs> no, uh. These were for babies. <laughs> All those NASCAR bags that were in a, the last video are all gone. Yeah, we did. Their bags were a little cheaper for the toys. Yeah, that's true. Look at these pretty bracelets. $7.99. I think that was just $7.99. Pretty. Here's a little piece here. We just recently sold, oh, it's $20. That actually feels like expensive, yes. Um, we just Buddha. sold, oh look, the uh, we sold these every time we got them. Because they got the lines, you got a bad flipper. Yeah. It doesn't feel as heavy as the No, it's a, it's a newer one, so yeah, know. but how much is it anyway? $40. $40, wow. I'm trying to not sound. So yeah, the antique the ones, they'll have like double lines, triple lines sometimes on the bottom that wrap around. And um, without the lids, they can sell for like 40 bucks. Hey, that's a cool Jim Beam bottle. Jimmy Beam. They the make some cool stuff. I had a guy that worked for me. I called him Jimmy Beam. Did you? Yep. <laughs> and Luscious Larry. <laughs> Luscious and, Larry. And Einstein. Oh, look at this face guy up here. What? $25 for that. This kind of is like Mackenzie Childs like, but it's not her. What is this? $8.99. Probably some Hobby Lobby thingy. Probably. Mm -hmm. Laugh. Laugh. Yeah, Let's, that's what I do at the prices here. <laughs> and then you have a beautiful piece like this. That's only twelve ninety nine. That's a better price than than some of this. Look at that one back there. It's probably a handmade piece. Oh my gosh, forty four ninety nine. Holy crap! This one's. 30. These are longer burger too, right? Yep. yep, $10, $15. Right here. I know, but I mean, the Oh, yeah. yeah. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy here. I do like baskets, though. I'm kind of a basket nerd. I'm trying to scale back. He's got to stop me. Like, look at this. <gasps> look at this cool basket. They, do they glue seashells? No. Ugh. But that would have been neat. Yeah, I think it was these that I saw last time. Yeah, $35 each. But we just picked one up at the flea market. It was like a fertility Buddha. Um, Buddha and... Um, sold within like three milliseconds. Yeah, we sold it in like t not even five minutes. And um, But we got it way cheaper. Yeah, so. we and I don't want to hold on to it forever. So. No, I'm not trying to keep it. What was... I was about to peek over here. I just saw something. Oh, this kangaroo. That's what I want to look at. That's an older piece. See that bottom? That's what you want to look for in like the older pottery. Um, let's see. I'll try and find you an example. How much are the wax melts at the store? Um, $2.22 at Walmart. 
$1.99. So it's not really, what's Christmas dreams smell like? Probably something I don't want to smell. I don't know. Right now. It doesn't smell too bad. Do I was thinking, think? <laughs> what do you think? I was thinking like cinnamon. So I just, oh look here, this whole thing. These are, um, some of these are retired, these Yankee Candle tarts. And people buy those too. That's something to look up. Um, but I find that Yankee Candle, they don't hold their smell. So you'll get them and be like, I can't really smell this. Bath and Body Works, different story. But I'm not really seeing it. What is this spray for? From, it says room spray, so like air oh, freshener. Oh, like a Febreze. Like a Febreze. Exactly. Febreze fixes everything. Yes and no. I know, I'm joking. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Smells, nice. Smells nice, but it don't fix nothing. That's pretty. I always go back to that one day when I found them sent animals in the oh, bag. I know. And we found them in a box. What is that? Whoa. That's scary. <laughs> Look at the eagle. Yeah, that's pretty. It's probably, I think it, they were called like Art Gallery something something, the company. They don't do very much. No, it was neat though. These fused glass pieces, every once in a while you'll find one that's signed. So look, the, look up those artists and see if their stuff is going for anything. Um, but for the most part, they're just kind of meh pieces to buy. That's interesting. It's an older piece. Mm -hmm. I've seen if it was Lennox or something. That doesn't do so hot either. It has to be really specific. That's interesting. I'm gonna take a picture of that. That's milk glass. I've never seen that before. I'm gonna take a um, image search of that. So these are by Amway, and um, they're listed like $25, $30, but there's no so sold at all. So I'm gonna leave that one here, as interesting as it is. That's gonna stay. Aaron just spotted this piece here, Noritake. It's completely broken. Is it? <laughs> yeah. And they want thirty dollars for it here. Um, you'll be lucky if you can get that online. It's not like a super. I don't know. You just have to look these old pieces up because some of them can fetch, fetch you like a few hundred dollars. But um, it all it really depends on the brand, what it is, like what the vessel is, and um, the pattern. So, see, here's another piece of fused glass stuff. Let's see if it has a signature. It's really dirty. No, I don't see us. I don't see a signature. No, no bottom. Oh. oh, look at these. These would have went to a decanter. It would have matched just like that. We'll bring that out next week. Yeah, that's so true. All right, this area is what we lovingly call the eBay area. Oh, a little turtle. Oh, it's got a broken face. Probably why it's out of That's its why elemental. it's, yeah, not in the glass section. It's crossing section. the road over here. It's got a broken beak. See, you can get some pretty cool stuff here. This can hold like a paperweight if you wanted. Some nice um, napkin ring holders. Or not napkin ring, you know what I mean. Like a hand towel, that's what I mean. This is great for jewelry. Oh, these are cool. I've sold these before. These brass wheelie things for your plants. I think I might grab this because the, the two or three that I've ever found, I've sold them. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, they go easy. So look at all this. All the electronics. See, at our other one that we go to that's down the street, it's not this type of Goodwill where you earn points. It's a regular old Goodwill. And their coffee makers are like $4.98. Not $25. You know. They had brand new um, grills and stuff in the box for like $6.98. So totally different price points over there. What on earth did they frame? Oh, okay. 
Oh, here's a Toy Story thing. Oh, they probably want a lot for this. $25. Wow. And then, that's pretty. Oh, here's another one. That, those are cool. But, $25 a piece. I saw a really cool um, dog painting, and man, you gotta really look into those, the antique paintings of animals, because those could fetch you like thousands. Um, I mean, I know really any old antique painting could potentially, but of like dogs and horses and stuff, those do really good. Okay, let me turn this way. Hmm. Lots of Hobby Lobby things today. This would have covered your food so no bugs get in it. The rooster, $25 at a thrift store at the Goodwill. Yep. Okay. Damn. Oh, look, washi tape. $4.99. Washi tape. I picked up a couple of antique fans the other day. These aren't old, but the ones I got are. I just spotted this. Yeah. I know, I saw it. It's $25 for that bag. Yeah. That's crazy. It is. And then you can't do anything with this. $15. But it's not you enough of one right, color, right? Yeah. That's what my mom taught me. The army one, I'm not going to pay $15 for one. For one, yep. That's what my mom would say. Walmart. And this here is $6, and we can't really do much for that either. $30. This is really cool, but uh, it's the principal. <laughs> Helping her find yarn. That's so cute. I'm looking for yarn. He was showing me stamps, but the one he showed me, this bag right here, it has paper punches in it, but it's $25. So we're going to leave that for somebody else. That would have been nice if that was our uh, air filters. What's That's it? how we usually have to. What? <laughs> oh, you want to see something else? That's great. A half empty soap bottle and it's $7. Queen bed skirt, $15.99. $3.99. Let's go complain in another aisle. All right, so I'm over here at the jewelry counter to see what they have in here available. That spoon is $129. Okay. So when, um, it's funny because I've had people say that they're leaving the channel because all we do is complain. But every single person he was talking to, which is a lot because he talks to everybody, everyone was complaining about the prices yeah. so it's not just us and we do keep trying because you know sometimes they miss stuff or they might have a sale color and we can get oh yeah those are well those look like dupes for the um um the one that bianca wanted i got yeah, her for christmas uh, i can't think of it off the top of my head uh, that is fifty dollars for chess pieces and the sad thing is, though, it's not every goodwill. No, it's not. This one has gotten it's crazy. This, one. this one's good to, like, for, like, filming and to show you guys stuff because it has a lot of items in the you store. And you might find something. Um, but for, like, your average person, <laughs> no. Here's a, a no, harmonica so for 100 I don't know where I want to get that. I want to get the toaster. Good looking toaster. Look, that spoon's 129. <laughs> he didn't believe me, he had to look closer. Oh. That bangle is 100. The other bangle is 100. That's not even real silver. Those are like alpaca silver, which is a nickel. What do they have over here? They have some 
Oh, I bet those are expensive. Yeah. Some Coach and Michael Kors that you don't even know if it's real. No, you don't. You got no idea. Here's the corner. It's a pretty brooch there. $200 for that silver turquoise piece. Yeah, I think they just forget that they're thrift stores is the problem. That's yes. I agree with you. So he doesn't think he's going to get this, but we're probably yeah. going to get these yeah, two. That up. This brand right here, man. You can find anything on that? Toaster ovens or toasters? Warring? Pretty good. Okay, okay. Let's, let me look over here. Out. You think it'll buff out? I wish this whole store would buff out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wallets. Even used wallets are like six dollars. No. <laughs> no, they'd probably be up front for like two hundred dollars. I think those things are so weird. Half off. Okay. for our trip to the Goodwill. We got two things. There's lots of things on the shelf there. That's why it's such a great place to film in. <laughs> and you guys get the, oh my gosh, moments there because there's a lot of them. Um, but it is what it is with Goodwill. We've generally had to switch up some of the stores that we've been shopping in. Um, but it is a popular video on our YouTube channel. So we do continue to film there even though they are a tad bit irritating <laughs> but anyways thank you guys so much for watching make sure you leave your thumbs up leave your comments leave your thoughts in the comments down below and we'll talk to you guys in another video say bye Aaron bye